the Christmas catalog finally came. <laughs> Which is what I would be saying in 1980 when this came in the mail. I could pour over this for literally hours, you guys. It was so exciting to get this catalog, this little catalog in the mail. Which, yeah, that's a lot of pages, but in 80s catalog... 500 pages was nothing. Most catalogs were like 1,500 pages. But this one had the good stuff. This one had the toys. Of course, it also had clothes in it, which were super cute. Little Cabbage Patch dolls. But who cared about the clothes? Well, I do now because they're so cute. Oh my goodness, look at the little Care Bears jammies. And the karate jammies. And the sweatsuits. We just loved our sweatsuits in 1985. I mean, come on. Who didn't want a rainbow bright sweatshirt? Everybody did. And jeans with bunnies on the pockets? Yes, please. Or puppies that matched your sweatshirt? And of course you had to have the sweaters with the sew-in collars. I love how in the Christmas catalogs they incorporate the toys into the clothes pictures. And they don't usually do that in the regular catalogs. Especially because a lot of the regular catalogs didn't even have toys in them. Which is no fun. Ugh, this was what I wanted my style to be in 1985. Stirrup pants. Reeboks, big old slouchy socks, giant sweaters, yeah. And I really wanted one of these coats, too. <laughs> this desk set is cute. Sticker machine, that looks fun. And Care Bear slippers and Sesame Street slippers and uh, He Man slippers, <laughs> Transformer slippers. Incredible. I mean, really. Hug a bunch pajamas. And Spider Man. Superman. G.I. Joe. Like all the fun stuff. Sports, of course. The silk robes for the boys. Those are a little weird. <laughs> Lots of sporty sports stuff. Lots of sports ball. <laughs> oh, those silky jackets. The winter gear. Umbrellas. Oh my goodness, look at this. He-Man and Transformers raincoats. I had a, um, oh, I missed a page. I had a Smurfette raincoat, which I was so, 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 so excited about. These clothes are boring. 
Here we go. Here's some Superman and some Spider-Man. Um, I had this He-Man shoes. Yeah. No, I did not have these. I had, I'm trying to tell you about my <laughs> Smurfette raincoat that I keep getting distracting myself. Um, I had this Smurfette raincoat. It was so awesome. It was blue and pink. It had Smurfette. It had the little like toggle clasps. I thought it was the cutest thing. And I wore it one time in the rain and it ripped because it was that, you know, cheapy stuff. Ugh. I was heartbroken that that thing ripped. I was so heartbroken. This looks like a Blanche Devereaux outfit from Golden Girls, doesn't it? The sweaters. Oh, those pleated skirts. Yes. Love that outfit. The sweater vest. The sweater vest cardigan, too. It's not just a sweater vest. It only buttons down here, so it's like a cardigan. With puffy sleeves coming out the side. Oh, good times. Good times in fashion. All of those giant bows. <laughs> oh, and the velour tracksuits. You had to love your velour tracksuits. sweater right there. Now that is awesome. <laughs> Remember these? They had like the giant arms because the shirts had these giant arms and then they had these sweaters that had like the giant armhole openings. And like all this clothes was like three sizes too big for her or more than three sizes too big for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want that skirt now. Isn't that cute? That one there? Not so much. <laughs> Some boring pages. Ooh, look at this. She's like gonna go flamingo dancing. Oh, no, that is so bad. Okay, you guys have to vote for what you think. I mean, obviously, I'll, I want to hear what your favorite thing would be in here, but I want you to write in the comments below what is the worst outfit in here because I feel like it might be that. <laughs> but, you know, it's going to get pretty bad. It's going to get pretty bad. This lady right here thought she was a really badass. Wow. Wow. That's, I don't know. So many bad The drop wastes in the 80s. Right? This is like more like the Dorothy Spornak look. From the Golden Girls. And then you got your fur coats. And your ugly shoes with your ugly matching purses. Right? Your loafer looking shoes. And then your moon boots. And then your boot boots. <laughs> and your jammies. That's pretty bad.
quilted robes. It must be pretty cold in your house if you have to wear a quilted robe, right? They did have some adult Disney and Garfield jammies. That one's interesting. Some of us are still living on the prairie, I see. Oh, and then you have more of your uh, flirty jammies. Oh, and then we're into the pocketbooks. And you got your driving gloves with your matching steering wheel, because you know, you gotta keep it matching. Not sure what's going on with that taxi cab right there. <laughs> Random. This is like when you chose your colors. Do you remember that in the 80s? Like I remember my mom went to some parties or whatever where they like figured out if you were a fall or a winter or an autumn or a spring. And then like you would wear your makeup and buy your clothes according to your season. Do they still do that? Do people still figure out what their season is? I don't know. I wonder what season I am. Jewelry. Watches and calculators. Because a matching calculator pen set is a fantastic gift. What are these watches? Norman Rockwell. Okay. And you got your digitals. Oh, and pipes. Gifts for Grandpa. Are men still smoking pipes in the 80s? I feel like maybe just old men. Right? Am I right? Shaving stuff and suitcases. They're going to make us wait till all the way at the end, I feel like, for the toys. Lots of gentleman gifts the man who has all the ties he needs now needs a tie rack and then you need your matching playboy pajamas really and your matching towel sets and your matching robe and velour house clothes sets I don't know Oh, family pictures. Everybody matches. Suits, you know, the men's clothes. It's pretty boring. They have some colorful sweaters in the 80s, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as now. Of course, you don't see a whole lot of those jackets these days. But you got your same, like, Pendleton shirts and, oh, I like these uh, sweaters. Reminds me of, um, I can't think of his name now. And Grimm, did you guys watch Grimm? I loved that show. I mean, it's kind of partial to it because it filmed here in Portland. But, um, and we got to like see some filming scenes and stuff, but also it was a good show. It was awesome. If you haven't seen it, I think the whole thing is on probably Peacock streaming. Okay. This is like a short sleeve sweater vest. Do you see that? They're not showing the whole thing, but you can see where the sleeve stops right there. That's interesting. <laughs> Oh, this guy thinks he's way too cool for a JCPenney's catalog, let me tell you. This guy did not go to a stylist and get his unibrow taken down yet. Ski gear. 
for the ski bunnies. I've never been skiing. Do you guys ski? I have like a famous ski hill, like not very far from me. Ski mountain, I guess. Not really hill. Um, <laughs> but I'm not a skier. It's too cold. I've got all these cool jackets. People want to get their hands on those right now on eBay. Some sporting goods. Oh my gosh, these shoes right here were like all the rage in 1985. Those were the shoes to have for girls in my school anyway. Working out. Get some mats and everything. Weights. Ooh, stuff for your fun game room. Yikes, guns. Guns, 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 guns. Ice skating and bowling. I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the toys, you guys. Getting closer, we're getting closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> we must be almost there. We must be. Check this out. She-Ra and My Little Pony and Wuzzles and Hug a Bunch. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any strawberry shortcake in this catalog, I don't think, because 1985 was the last year of it, and this is Christmas. So I don't think they are promoting too many strawberry shortcake things. That bed tent is cool. A little Garfield tent. Look at the G.I. Joe transport. That's awesome. And the Transformers truck and the mask. These little tents are super awesome. I had this typewriter right here. This is little, it was like a kid size. I loved that thing. Oh, we got cars. Okay. They were teasing us with those sleeping bags. Teasing us because now they're going to show us tools. Oh, there wasn't too many tools. Okay. Fireplace stuff. Uh, let's see. There's a Snoopy floor mat. Ugly ceiling fans. <laughs> okay. Here's some bed stuff. Look at the rainbow bright. Hassocks. A whole lot of hassocks. These are shades, which I think is cool. To have like a character shade in your room. Oh, more teasing. Here's Christmas plates and fancy plates. TV trays, and knives, kitchen stuff, sewing machines, microwaves. How much were microwaves then? $149. Okay, here's some games. Some trinkets, wood things, more like fancy versions of games and clocks. Stuff for your grandma. Christmas decorations. Ooh, look at these blow molds. These are awesome. So we have one of these, but I feel like I thought they were older than the 80s. But I guess they were still selling those in 1985. Ugh, the dreaded popcorn tin. I remember when these came out and we got like six of these as gifts from friends one year. I was like, what are we going to do with all this freaking popcorn? And they started rusting out by the time 
we could like get to the popcorn to start eating it all. <laughs> we had so much popcorn. I have that. Ooh, this one's cool. The Coke one. Ooh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Limited numbered collector's edition. Only 1,200 will be made, and then the mold is broken. Oh, it's a porcelain doll. Handcrafted porcelain doll. And we have all of our, like, JCPenney charge agreements and all that kind of nonsense. And how to measure yourself. And then... I think we hit the toys. Oh my gosh. And of course, Cabbage Patch Kids. My sister was listening to the Cabbage Patch Kids record the other day. Man, that thing is pure gold. <laughs> pure gold. These dolls were expensive. The twins, $84.99. Wow. Oh. And the doll on the horse, $64.99. Holy shamoly. So we had some of these things, but I'm pretty sure we got them at garage sales. I know we had this and this. I think this was my big Christmas present in 1984. Was this, um, or was it my sister's? I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, and some of this clothes. And then, of course, you had the mini Cabbage Patch Kids. And then the doll stuff that, like, fit Cabbage Patch Kids. But no, you had to have, like, the actual stuff that had Cabbage Patch Kids all over it. Otherwise, come on. Who wants that big stuff? <laughs> Here's some dolls. These are some fun ones. Come on, focus. There we go. The honeycomb dolls. Interesting. You know, Cabbage Patch like dolls. And we have a baby beans down here. Sure we don't skip any pages. All kinds of doll baby goodies here. For making your fun doll nursery. Ooh, She-Ra. How cool is that? The Crystal Castle was $36. And then over here, we've got Castle Wishmore. Not sure. And who are these girls? Royal Princess Sparkle and her fairies. Interesting. And we've got some Barbies. We've got the Barbie Glamour House. There we go. And the fun, some fun furniture down here. <gasps> The Barbie Dream House. Ah, my cousins had this. And we uh, love to go over there and play with it. I'm like, nah, we don't want to play with you guys. We just want to play with the Barbie Dream House. <laughs> More Barbies and Barbie-like dolls. Such as the Hart Family. Who uh, was made by Mattel also. 
I don't know if you really classify them as Barbies or not, but oh, look at that laundry room. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And super deluxe bridal wardrobe. So these are like not Barbie clothes, but probably like Barbie size clothes. Oh, I do not want to skip a page. Thank you. This is Flower Princess. And Rainbow Flower Princess. And then we have like Christmas clothes for Barbies. Those are cool. I like that little Santa suit. And then we've got My Little Ponies. I am resisting the urge to like sing you the theme songs for each of these things because you don't want to hear me sing. But <laughs> it's really hard not to sing the My Little Pony theme song. Ooh, and then we've got Rainbow Bright and Hug a Bunch. And these little makeup y doll heads. That's never my thing to like fix their hair and their makeup and stuff. And then we've got the Hug a Bunch and Rainbow Bright. Let's see what our next page is. Care Bears. Cute. Is that the right color? That looks strange, doesn't it? Hmm. They look... A little off. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. We have Care Bear Cousins. Why do they have things on their face? Oh, I know. Because somebody probably marked these with a pen. But these were ones that they wanted. Okay. I'm like, what is on their face? <laughs> oh, and this giant Care Bear. I had one of these once. And I sold it to somebody. And, um... They got really mad because they said I sent them the 32 inch one and they wanted the 28 inch one. I was like, mm, no, I sent you the 28 inch one. Of course, I got it back and I measured it and it's 28 inches. It's like, I, okay, I don't know. That was a long, long time ago, though. That was a long time ago when eBay didn't have pictures. Yeah. Because otherwise, I would have just sent them a picture of it next to um, a tape measure. But eBay didn't used to have pictures. You just had to describe things when eBay first started. <laughs> Way back in the 90s. Alvin and the Chipmunks and Garfield. Look at that unicorn. How cute. Ooh, do you remember Get in Shape Girl? Those were fun. Oof. Ventriloquist dolls. No thanks. <laughs> I have an aversion to ventriloquist dolls, okay? Ooh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Refrigerator and stove and stuff. Oh my gosh. I wanted those so bad. Um, other play refrigerator and stoves. A My Little Pony one. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And Holly Hobby. We had a few pieces of this set, I think, that we found at a garage sale. And more household play stuff. The Care Bears. And I have this set. Well, pretty similar to this set in Strawberry Shortcake. It looks almost just the same, but these two parts are together. 
And of course it has Starburst Shortcake characters instead of Care Bears characters. The little Tyke sets. And the Play Food. You know how I love all this kitchen stuff. So this set here, I actually bought at a garage sale at one time when I was doing my after school program and the kids loved it. And we had a little grocery store set up, of course. You know, me and my grocery store. And then we have, this is Robot Man, right? Yeah, Robot Man. That's cool. Way cool. And these, some of these are more like, um, well, this looks like Fisher Price stuff. So it's more like preschooly toys, little helper, doctor's kit, cash register. I loved this cash register. I don't think we had it, but. Maybe it was like in the playroom at our church or something. Some more fun Sesame Street and Fisher Price stuff. A little camera for kids. Can you imagine like, here kid, here's a camera. Here's some film. Here's the flash bulbs. And then we're going to go pay, we're paying for all of this stuff. And then we're going to go pay to develop those probably terrible pictures you took. <laughs> Seems like a lot. Fisher Price record players. And oh, I've got a video on this and I have a video on this. You should go check those other videos out. <laughs> got the snuggle bums not a whole lot of snuggle bums in here but we got the snuggle bums and those um, cardboard blocks I see those sometimes and I think should I just buy them and use them for boxes they'd be good boxes <laughs> and more like preschool kind of play things Glow worms. My buddy. Oh, here's toothbrush sets. She Ra and He Man. And Go Bots. Oh, there's some Hello Kitty stuff in here, too. Not a lot, but a little. That Tuxedo Sam is really cute. I just sold one of those. <laughs> this is more, oh, this is like radios and stuff. Okay. What do we got here? Some Care Bears posables. And this is like the preschool talking Care Bear phone. Care Bear sit and spin. Care Bear musical instruments. Care Bear radios. That's a radio and that's a radio. Little microphone, wuzzles, walkie talkies, Cabbage Patch Kids camera, and piano, and radios, and a little playhouse. There's a lot of variety of stuff on this page. These pages are a little bit mishmashed. Roller skating teddy bears, cameras, Voltron camera. Some cool stuff in this catalog, man. Is this like a Shira watch? Radio watch? What is that? Let's see. Look at number seven. 
She-Ra's wrist radio. Oh my gosh. Has anyone ever found one of those? I bet that's not something they made a ton of. And they cost 12, well, they cost 12 bucks. That's not too bad to have a wrist radio. Paddington Bear. We've got some CNCs. Some pull toys. Oh, your tough stuff grocery cart. Go bots boom box. And like Transformers. Um Walkie talkies, He Man walkie talkies, He Man radio and headset, <laughs> and a tape deck. So cool. Cash registers and kid size typewriters, and more stereos. Got the dual deck stereos there so you can make your mixtapes and these are like building kits construct constructs those are from Fisher Price and robotics and some cool Lego sets probably be worth a fortune these days if you found them Sporting goods. You could punch Rocky right in his stupid Rocky face. <laughs> oh, Disney. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, and those bounce on things. I never knew anyone that had one of these things. Did you ever have one of those? Spirographs and Magna Doodles, all kinds of little play art kits. Ooh, there's some fun games. Hungry Hungry Hippos and Perfection. These are like, once you become an adult, especially if you're taking care of kids, you don't want anything to do with these games because they make too much damn noise. <laughs> <laughs> so loud hungry hungry hippos is like the loudest game in the world look at this little sesame street maybe it's like you get story discs or something for it simon that's fun monopoly risk the hug a bunch game life Operation. G.I. Joe game. The Thundercats game. My Little Pony game. So many cool things to get for Christmas in 1985. Like a Fraggle Rock drum set. I think that's the first Fraggle Rock thing we've seen in here, right? Isn't it? This Care Bears furniture is awesome. They made this same stuff. All the same styles as Strawberry Shortcake furniture. So I actually have this in my collection. Of strawberry shortcake, of course, not Care Bears. I have this. I have this. I have a desk. Actually, I think it's like this. I don't have the double-sided desk. But all this stuff they made as strawberry shortcake themed as well. Um, and it must be the same company too because they have this as strawberry shortcake. I have that. And the rocking chair. Of course, I didn't have any of that as a kid, but I have since found it at garage sales and get, gotten it as gifts and stuff. 
And they even had this He-Man stuff. Look at that ride on Battle Cat. That is the coolest. Oh my gosh. And then they had like the generic kid furniture. But it wasn't really that fun. This would have been cute kid size, but you know whatever <laughs> a little ride on horses the Yamaha motorcycle that's cool and we've got some Star Wars stuff here Ewoks. And then you've got your Masters of the Universe pages. There were so many He Man characters. So many He Man characters and things and stuff. And this is GoBots. Are we all GoBots on this page? No, here's more He-Man. More He-Man. This is um, Horde's Fright Zone. Okay. It's like He-Man Haunted House. <laughs> An Evil Horde 2-pack. And more He-Man vehicles. And then over here, we go to the planet Gobatron. And we've got all the GoBots. And this... Sectars. So this one is Sectars. And then over here it says robot converters stimulate the imagination. I've never heard of robot converters. Is that like just transformers? Robot converters? I don't know. Could just like scorpion watch though that's cool robot converters place at 30 bucks robo structs huh interesting not something i know anything about maybe some of you boy toy fans could tell me all about the robot converters <laughs> Got some G.I. Joe stuff here, including the USS Flag, which is this beast of a playset, which obviously somebody who owned this catalog wanted. I mean, who didn't want that? 130 bucks. And Marvel Superheroes action figures. And play sets. And then convertible toys. So I guess convertible toys would be your whole line of like Transformers and Dinobots and GoBots. I just sold one of these little construction things. these watches and of course um, 
Let's see. Yeah, these are all Transformers, I think. I mean, there were a million Transformers, right? So many different ones to choose from. And then you had your Voltron. And power bots. Can you tell? I'm like not saying as much about these because I just don't know much about them. Really need to study these catalogs though, right? As a reseller, you should know about all this stuff. Lightning League Battle Gear. I don't think I've ever even heard of that. And we got Mask. Some awesome mask trucks and stuff. And what do we have over here? Stompers. Now I know these are good. $24.99, $19.99. These are expensive. No wonder people pay good money for these these days. They're spendy. And some cool die cast cars. You got your JC Penney's truck here. And some Tonka gear. Back when it was still metal, I think. <laughs> this is interesting. It was like a steering wheel for you to steer the truck around. And then lots of fun Hot Wheels stuff. Tracks and garages and play sets and carrying cases and everything. Hot Wheels, one of those toys that has stood the test of time. Look at the Inspector Gadget. Dun, 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 dun. Inspector Gadget. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do the theme songs. <laughs> Night Rider. Yeah. And then more cars and trucks. These are some model kits. And some RC cars. Lots of fun cars and model kits and stuff. Slot cars and RC planes. Train sets. Whole huge train layouts. And some like learning toys, chemistry sets, and electronics. Ant farms. Poor ants. Telescopes and microscopes. Some ride-on toys and dress-up stuff for girls. Because you know how every 80s girl wanted to dress up as a little flapper? <laughs> Ew, that clown suit. I mean, we had seen Halloween by, him, by this time. Right? We knew Michael Myers in this same suit. These are awesome dress-up clothes. Look at the pirate, combat soldier, Spider-Man, and I guess this this kid's a magician, maybe. <laughs> I 
And then you got your construction man with your lawnmower. I love that it has like the, the grass clipping bag. Gotta be authentic. Baseball cards. And lots of sporty stuff. Plushes and lamps and those electronic games where things just kind of went and the pieces went all over the place. <laughs> and some plush, pound puppies, and some more kind of fakey Cabbage Patch dolls. Latch hook rug kits. Do you remember doing latch hook? I had it. I probably had four or five kits that I just never finished. Care Bears game. Ooh, Christmas ornaments and bicycles and tricycles and unicycles. Shira and He Man bikes. And fun ride-on toys. Look at the little Cabbage Patch car. So cute. Got a Rolls Royce here. And a Camaro. Some big trucks, a doom buggy. Man, I don't know what kids were this good. I certainly wasn't. <laughs> Police vehicles and all the big wheels you could want. And they make big wheels for adults now. My friend Jeff over at Creates, he's got one and he loves it. Of course, they don't really have the plastic tires anymore because you know how those wore out. Look at these banana seat bikes. I always found that much more comfortable than your regular bike seat. sleds lots of fun snow gear for the kids for snow days and some roller skates look at how cute care bears and rainbow bright and he-man and cabbage patch of course when we weren't roller skating we always just rented our roller skates I guess it would have made a lot more sense to buy all the times we weren't roller skating. <laughs> Sports watches and watches that became Transformers. He-Man clock. Oh, there's some Strawberry Shortcake stuff in here. Check that out. Strawberry Shortcake watches and clocks. Very cool. These ones, these two clocks here are pretty hard to find too. I like this little crayons clock. That's cute. And we've got some Mickey Mouse and Garfield. And of course, Cabbage Patch because this catalog is just full, chocked full of Cabbage Patch stuff. Books, books, books. <laughs> and more books. Kids books, school books, religious books. Books with records, books with tapes. 
mouser size. That was awesome. I got that for my eighth birthday. So that would have been uh, 1984. Care Bears, Cabbage Patch Kids, Sesame Street, Hug a Bunch, Masters of the Universe Backpack, Cabbage Patch Kids, and Transformers Suitcase. Amazing. And now we're at Baby Toys. And let's see. We've got Teddy Betty Bear. If you find these, these sell really well. Anything with that character on it at this point. And Care Bears Baby Crib stuff. Crib toys. Of course, nowadays, I don't think they want you to put anything like this in the crib. But back in those days, they were like, throw it all in there. Yeah, this isn't going to scare your baby at all. No wonder you cried all night and didn't want to go to sleep. And giant Sesame Street plush. Binoculars. Ooh, and ginormous telescopes. Cameras and cameras and cameras and. Oh, I thought it was going to be more cameras. <laughs> Musical stuff, stereos, karaoke machine. And some knickknack shelves, Budweiser and Coca Cola. Um, VCRs and camcorders. And of course, everyone had piles of these in their house for their tapes or their VHS. Look at the price of these VCRs. $469. Yikes. But then the TVs, $800. Seven hundred and fifty dollars for a 25-inch TV with wood grain on the side. Crazy. This black and white TV is only 60 bucks, and this portable TV is 80. Of course, this thing probably weighed 20 pounds. Some stereos and equipment, ginormous stereos. Every dude bro wanted something like this, one of these setups. And some other electronic equipment. And we're coming to the end of the fabulous Christmas catalog. AM, FM, clock radio with a tape deck, with a phone. Huh. This one has a phone, no tape deck, so whatever. But of course it is $40 cheaper. <laughs> um... AM FM radio with a TV in it? Like, you're just going to watch TV. You're not even going to go to bed. I guess you could wake up to the morning news. And lay in bed and watch the news instead of getting up. And a Walkman. And this one has all the little equalizer stuff on it. That's interesting. And that is our final page Santa Claus on the last page building you a rocking chair a tiny rocking chair or is Santa supposed to be a giant here I'm not sure
<laughs> Seeing is believing, only $289.95. Okay, guys, that is the whole JCPenney's catalog. I feel like I might have had to switch this into two videos because there's so much, but it is awesome. I could go through here and dog ear every page of something that I wanted. <laughs> okay, what was your favorite thing in the catalog? And what outfit of clothes do you think was the worst? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.